couple games here. Final Fantasy VII just came out on Switch. You can play that in Japanese now on the Switch. Another one I just picked up, Ace Attorney, 1, 2, and 3 on the Switch. So one of these two games may get moved up in the map because we'll most likely play one of them next after we finish the story in Xenoblade 2 right here. Let's get into the game. Ah, konnichiwa. Hello, Nicholas. Minna yokozo. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Today the journey continues. Today we have a new emote. You can see the title on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, it might be a little different. Um, new emote for when we learn new sentences. The goal today is to spam that emote. Let me spam it right now. Get a sense of it. Uh, it is a Triforce symbol. You can even see it in the kind of small thing there. Let's make it a bit bigger. So you can try, you can see the Triforce that I wrote there. It's my Japanese quest name there. Ah! Konnichiwa, minna, anta. Not sai. I'm not sure how to say that entirely, but minna, konnichiwa, hello. Uh, so we have this new emote. And you might ask, why do we have a new emote? So now we have an emote for both functions that we have on Japanese Quest. We have two functions. I'll do both those emotes side by side. The power-up function, that is for when we learn new words. And now one, an emote for when we learn new sentences. Ah, konnichiwa, Lucas. I may not remember connecting that to that, but I will try. Konnichiwa, good to see you, everyone. Um, the reason it's a Triforce we started using this playing a Zelda game, playing Breath of the Wild. I will badly draw the Triforce on the screen. That is a visual cue that's worked pretty well for when we learn a new sentence. So it means anyone on YouTube or Twitch who is watching, if you see this Triforce in this corner of the screen, you will know. There's a sentence down here that we're in detail analyzing, going through the different pieces of it, how it fits together, how it works. So now, not just me, other people who subscribe can use that Triforce to suggest when they want to learn a new sentence or just for hype when we are learning a new sentence. Uh, we used to sometimes use, use like a Dorito or something that was triangular, um, but now we have our own actual emote. It is also a drawn Triforce, similar to the one I'm drawing here. So new emote for learning new sentences. We also have one for learning new words. We got that one last month. Luckily, Twitch is opening up new emotes for people that have enough subscribers. So uh, yeah, again, so let's check it out. So power up emote, that is for learning new words. And then the Triforce emote, that is for learning new sentences. Today, the focus will be, let's find some sentences in game and let's make our power level go up. Power level, of course, you can see down here, our power level currently is 1,120. That goes up when we find words. Goal, of course, over 9,000. Let's jump into the game. Let's go. This scene will go through probably kind of quickly because we're early in stream. Plus, this is like the Emperor who... Their conversations are not quite as fruitful for the sentences we're looking for. He speaks in kind of a way that's very formal. And... Anyway... We'll see what's happening. Heika, Sakujits, Dai Yunju Nanaka Fusa Sarima. Ah, Okamijin Komawa. So he just said, uh, so one of their um, factories or something got uh, blocked off. I kind of saw the, the uh, comments there, so I got a bit sidelined. Um, yeah, unboxes, that's kind of true. <laughs> I see. So it's come faster than we thought. So we've also observed that uh, in the area of the palace, uh, the, the temperature of like the ground, like the thermal, what would you say, like the thermal 
Uh, anyway, <laughs> the temperature of the ground is rising rising quickly. Anyway, basically their planet, not their planet, their, uh, the Titan they live on is dying. Ah, Piva, unbox your Soka Mijin. Konbanwa. Good to see everyone. Today, the goal is to look for some sentences because we've got this new uh, emote for sentences. Let me try that out again. Uh, I pressed the wrong thing. I pressed cheer. I can't cheer on my own channel. I can do the Triforce on my own channel, though. So the Triforce emote, you can see there, that is for suggesting a new sentence. And I won't always honor it if we see a weird sentence and someone does it. We're not going to do every sentence all the time, but it's a good way to kind of focus on that. Unbox is talking about whose personality are you talking about? So he's saying here that yeah, this Titan that we're living on is not gonna last long. Right. So, ondo, temperature, and then agete yuku. So, is going up. Ageru, to go up. So, the temperature is rising of this ether flow, which is kind of like the bloodstream of this titan. Ketsueki, blood. Um, and they're likening Ketsueki to the flow of ether, this kind of flow of magic. So perhaps we should move up our plan of moving the capital to Gura. So they know that their planet, not their planet, their, uh... Oh, Frankie has returned and summoned a dragon. Let's get some hype in the chat. Wow, 10 months, 10 months dream for Frankie. You're almost up to, uh, Kami level. So yeah. Arigato. Get that dragon eyes in the chat. Welcome. All right. Yoroshikato. So we just sent the uh, the chain. We just changed the lord there. Plus, our explanation to the people of Gura is not good enough. So Jubun would be good enough. Fujubun. Not good enough. And so what's not good enough? Setsune, the explanation to the people there. So he's saying we can't just go there. Like we're taking over. They might not have a choice. Hmm. Imagine again if uh, wherever you're living, some people here are in the North America, some people here are in Europe, possibly, if you're up late, really late. Some people possibly in Asia. Imagine if whatever island you're on it was slowly dying and sinking, not slowly, but very quickly, into the ocean. It would change the geopolitical situation and big time. So I want to avoid any kind of, uh, yeah, bad feelings about us. So we don't have much more time that we can postpone it. And it's not just us. So even Gura, which is so fertile. Hmm, so their crops every year, Nennen every year, um, their crops are decreasing every year. Heru to decrease. And then hetteki hettekiru or hettekiteru. Um to be increasing, to be continuing to decrease. This te iru means it's continuous. So this kidu is like ha they have they have been doing this for a while, decreasing. And then hette is the te form of heru. So kind of a lot going on at the end there. That's the fun of uh, Japanese verbs. You can have a, they're called agglutinative verbs. You can add lots of little pieces to increase their meaning and fun factor. 
Okay, so this is kind of a key sentence. If someone wants to, we could try out our new emote here, because this sentence is kind of key to this game. It's a bit easier to break down. Okay, so kono sekai, this world. Kono, this sekai, world. We got it. We got the uh, new emote. Nice, it looks just what I draw. So I'll draw this here. Just a suggestion, and let's do it. So we've got this uh, Triforce, which means someone here can try to write that sentence, and we can add it to our power level. Um, Jester says, hi, I just found your channel yesterday and love it. Complete Japanese novice, so bear with me. I won't be active in chat until I'm off work and home. It's cool. We've had people in Japan who are at work, so uh, you are welcome, and... And you're welcome to join in any capacity. Commenting is optional. We have lots of lurkers, uh, which is good. I imagine them as kind of rangers on this journey as well. Uh, until 9.30, see you then. I'm glad to be part of the party. Cool. We might be wrapping up around them. We'll see, but uh, good to see you. And uh, we may stream at an earlier time in some future weeks or months, so we'll see. We may see you different times. So what are those kanji in the middle? Good point. Let's break this down. So Kono Sekai, this world, Zentai, so all of this world, the whole world. Sekai Zentai. So the whole world. Ga Hime o Agetteru. So the whole world, the entire world is crying out. The whole world is crying out, dying. Looks like Okamijin has it. Kono Sekai Zentai ga Hime o Agetteru. That looks right, and let's copy and paste that. We can add that to our power level. Let me see if that copy and paste works for us here. Wow, we're getting a lot of sentences. We're up to 270 now. And I copy and pasted it wrong because I had Rikaikun on, so just copy and pasted one word. That's bad. Let's try again. Got it. And the time as well. Hachiji Jufun. Jufun. Okay, so, or Junifun. All right. Yeah, Okamijin Himeo, I'll get it. Also an expression. Nice, is that marked on uh, our dictionary? So a couple of people wrote it, Okamijin and Torchwood. So let's uh, get our unlock sound. That is the sound of this sentence being unlocked in your mind, or you could think in our collective subconscious here on Japanese Quest. Uh, again, let's mark what we have here. G or ga, why did I say G? Ga here is marking the uh, the subject, what this sentence is about, and it's about the whole world, or this whole world. Kono se sekai zentai ga hime o agetteru. So the entire world is crying out, and their particular part of the world is about to die. So it's really crying out. Nicely done. Let's continue. And uh, yeah, that word. We could think of adding that word, actually. Let's look up that word quick. Let's go to our power level up screen. We can make our power level go up today, too, potentially. Uh, let's see here. So, Hime. So, N1 word, common word, a shriek, a scream. The world is shrieking, screaming, crying out. Uh, and then here we see, like... Okamijin said, this is a phrase we could stand to learn. To scream, to whine, to grumble, to complain. Hime o ageru. So this word hime, let's check. And uh, make sure you have an extended e, otherwise just hime is just princess. Hime, scream. So let's see, when do you use Subete Zentai and Zenbu? Uh, good question. Uh, I would say that the first one is the most common. Uh, it kind of depends on the context and there's subtle things that I'm not sure if I can give a great answer off the cuff to right now. But uh, 
for example, what they have there, Sekai Zentai, is a kind of a phrase unto itself that you see, like the whole world. So it's those four kanji together kind of work as a unit. And so you'll see different collocations like that, words that are common next to each other for the other two as well. Uh, but you can probably think of them as being pretty similar. So let's look at this word here. Let's look at our power level here. Let's do a find. See if we've learned it yet. Did anyone check it by chance? Probably don't have it because we did see it's an N1 word. We do not have it. So let's add that to our power level. So yeah, good question. Always good to ask questions like that because other people may have the same question. And even if the answer is not always 100% coverage, it never will be really. Everything is kind of true but partial, I often find, with answers like that. Um, sometimes Googling those things, if you just Google those three words, you may see that other people have that same question. And you could actually answer it in detail for us in chat if anyone wants to look that up. Okay, let's see if we have this word now. So power level is now up to 1,121. We now have gained the power of a scream. Hime. Ii desu ne. Hime o. I'll get it. Nicely done. Let's make that power level go up. Let's go back to Questo Island. What does the scouter say about his power level? Scouter says not only did we uh, use the power of the Triforce to uh, unlock a new Japanese sentence in our head, we also, from that sentence, had our power level go up. So both of our new emotes we could use. Let me practice both of those. The Triforce and the power up both. Now we have the power of all that. That's what we do in Japanese Quest, anyone just joining? We, uh, we play the game, but there's kind of a game on top of the game. That game is called Real Life, but it's also kind of a combination of Real Life and the game. We call it Japanese Quest. Let's go. Konnichiwa, Samu Finlando. What is it? Mm, seems like I'm just, just, it's it's just, kinose. It's like I'm just thinking things. It's not. It's nothing real. Whoa! Rekshin has summoned a dragon. Haha! <laughs> I just noticed that name is funnier than I thought at first. Anyway, uh, all right. Hugh G. Rection <laughs> has summoned a dragon. Let's get the hype in here. Let's go. So, sister, where are you now? Sweet. Let's do it. Hankokugo mm, so this giant kind of like uh this kind of gulf of clouds is has gone away. It's because the serpent is the one who made that giant kind of cave pl place. Mm, I see. So now that that serpent has disappeared, kieta disappeared, and then koto, so the fact that that thing appeared, disappeared, the fact, what disappeared? The serpent. Sapento, you can see in katakana here. Sapento ga kieta koto de. So de, so de kind of meaning. So because, or by, so because this serpent disappeared daikudo mo so mo here also kieta so we see this verb kieta k 
Kieta, it's kind of parallel structure. You'll often see this. And then Toyu Wake Ka. So Wake is kind of like a reason. So the reason this giant gulf disappeared is because the serpent disappeared. Nice. Let's keep going. Just as a pro tip, though, in the future, if anyone likes the sentence, if I'm for some reason going hard on a sentence like I just was, that could be a good candidate for our uh, our new emote, just as a thought. Um, but this one's a bit long. I'm not sure if anyone in chat wants to write this one. Uh, Commodore Bucket says, I have a question about that sentence. Yeah, go for it. But I can't type that fast. So no serpento, so that serpent, kieta koto de. So because that serpent disappeared, daikuro mo kieta toyu wake ka. Ah, so it's is it because it's that big kind of cave disappeared because the serpent disappeared. More or less is what it's saying. Uh, yeah, more or less that that kind of works. And uh, yeah, Samu Finland, that looks pretty good. You might want to use uh, Katakana normally, but otherwise, yeah. And Ruskative agrees. Ah. Yeah. Because the serpent disappeared, so did the cave. Could you do the same thing in Japanese? I mean, you couldn't do it exactly the same, but you could do something similar. Like the second line, like so did the cave, like dakara daikuro mo kieta. That kind of thing. So you could use the so. And like kieta kara, so because, just the because would be at the end. Sapunto ga kieta kara so because the serpent disappeared and then you wouldn't really need the dakara because you have the kara here anyway it's confusing just to talk about it but more or less you could do that it would still be a bit different in the way it's the order it's written but good question okay so if he is above the cloud sea he might have just gone across that way. Alright. So it looks like we could somehow climb it. But yeah, this is not just mountain climbing. This is kind of crazy. All right. I feel like it's always nice for people just joining when we see a sentence that's a bit simpler. Because I feel like a word or two words, you can kind of get across just as much sometimes. Uh, but they're a bit easier to sink your teeth into and get the sense of how pieces work. So these are things you hear all the time in this game, in all games. Minasan, so everyone. Calling out to everyone in the party often happens. I can say the same thing here. Minasan. And then, kochidai, this way. So, e points out the movement, the direction. And then, kochida means like this way. It's a good question in chat. He's saying, what? This is the middle of the world tree? So I guess we're, we're finally now inside the world tree. Our whole goal this game has been to get here. We're finally here. And uh, inside the world tree, just like the first time we played this game, we were still talking about kanji. Because remember, not only is the world tree filled with all this mech 
stuff. It's also filled with kanji. So let's talk really quick. Everyone has a different method to learn kanji. Everyone has a different opinion. Some of them can be kind of controversial, actually. Um, but the fact is, there's a lot of different ways that work well. Uh, I find that most people suggest learning kanji in context from words and then practicing to write them as well. Writing them is a big part of learning them. So a lot of people might say, instead of learning kanji specifically, learn them in the context of words. Um, a lot of people also do some kind of specific program. Like you might see some people here mention wani kani or remembering the kanji or other things like that. Um, but I would suggest doing a bit of your own research beyond just this chat and finding what system sounds like it might fit your personality and your goals and your time frame. So there's a few different ways. It kind of depends. Um, but I suggest if you're serious about Japanese, maybe starting with like a textbook like Genki and then Genki inside it will have kanji that you learn as you go, that you learn in the context of words generally. So I might suggest a textbook to focus your kind of study route. You, there are free options too, like Take Kim online. And then often people find finding some specific way to focus on kanji can be helpful for them too. Um, but really for me, vocab and kanji, I found the most useful resource for both to be Anki or something similar. Some kind of good flashcard system helped me a lot. So what I really did at first before I had any specific kanji system was I would go super hard with flashcards using Anki. It was actually pre-Anki, so something similar at that time. And it's just, it's simply flashcards of words. So you learn the word, you learn the kanji, you learn the reading of the kanji, and you learn the meaning. And for a lot of them, you want to learn a sentence probably too, how to use it in a sentence. So I recommend learning words. Yeah, just learning words. And then learn the kanji at the same time. And then uh, possibly considering a specific kanji program, depending on your interest level in kanji and, and all of that. But yeah, good comments by everyone. Um, it's a big question, can't really give it a full justice here, but it's a good question to keep repeating here. We've had it before and we'll have it again. And that's good, it's an important topic. All right, let's go back to new because I wrote too much on the screen. There we go, should be good. Let's go. By the way, more comments by all means, um, feel free to bring up some uh, other comments. So he's saying, so yo, yo this. So it seems like something. So it's not something that's maybe accurate completely with reality, but uh, so it seems like something. What does it seem like? Jinko so a man-made tower no mowarini so around this man-made tower so we're in this man-made tower here but around it kyodai shokubutsu ga makitsuiteru so there's this kind of tree all around it this is a terribly drawn tree but you get the idea i don't have a lot of colors here so it's as if there's a tree wrapped around this man-made tower So if we ride this, we should be able to go up. And he's saying, up? What did you just do? Let's break this down a bit. Just, nani? What? Some people suggested we should have this kanji for one of our emotes. So you could say, nani? Like uh, the, the kind of, it's become a meme now. Omae wa mo shinderu. 
Nani? So we may add this as an emote at some point. I'm not sure if we've had enough subs to get another emote, but uh, possibly. Although I am considering a different emote possibility as well, because I want to make sure we have all of our function emotes covered. All right, let's continue. So what did you do? Nani o yatta? So yaru is to do. So yatta is the past form of to do. Nani o yatta no? Nani o yatta no? So what did you do? Or ima, now, now what did you do? Just now. Homura, ima nani o yatta no? So even I don't really understand. So Jibun, I. So I kind of like this sentence. If someone wants to do the new emo, we could learn this one. So Jibun demo. So even me. This case, demo means even. Or the mo also. So even me, I don't really understand. Yoku wakarimasen. So it looks like we got a couple. Cool. Let's see if anyone can write this one. Looks like it'll be a little, little bit easier to write, hopefully. Not much kanji in it. Jibun demo yoku wakarimasen. So yoku means well, or in this case, with a negative ending, not well. I do not understand. So even me, I don't really know. I don't know what I just did, she's saying. Jibun demo yoku wakarimasen. Nicely done. Looks right. Both of them look right. Cool. Let's copy and paste that and add that to our sentence chronicle. We are now unstoppable on Japanese Quest. The sentences keep coming. There's so many, I can't even copy and paste this thing properly. All right, um, let's see. Let's go back to... Just making sure that it I've got to turn off Rikai again, probably. Do they all look correct? I think so. Let's go with Ruskative. Wrote it first. Nicely done. And then let's copy and paste that to our chronicle. That is our main focus today, is finding sentences. Since we've unlocked this new emote. This new emote, it took 25 subscribers to reach it. I believe. The next one is unlocked at 35, which we don't have, but we might get it retroactively because we have been that high before. I think the highest we got was about 49 subscribers. So that means we should be able to get up to four, one more emote if it's retroactive. Let's see. Okay, so we kind of broke it down and uh, let's unlock this. Chotomatte. So one more time for everyone else who wrote it as well. Yatta. So now the sentence is unlocked in our minds. And kind of a good message for language. Because this kind of happens when you get more used to a language, you just use it. You don't always know how to explain it. This is the same as her powers being the Aegis. She has these weird powers she does not really understand. Language is a bit like that. Jibun demo yoku wakarimasen. Even me, I don't totally understand how I use it. I honestly feel that way sometimes about Japanese. Sometimes I feel like I wake up in the morning, I feel like I don't remember Japanese anymore, but then I'll pick up a book in Japanese. I'll say, yeah, I, I do remember it. I can read it. It's kind of got this mysterious quality to it, though. Yosh, ikimashou. <laughs> All right, this one's kind of cool too. We could learn this one too if we want to go crazy today, but again, it's up to chat and the new emote. Um, but let's look at it. So, karada ga, so the ga is the subject, the thing doing the action. So, her body, karada, body. Karada ga, kate ni. So, kate ni means like selfish or like in this case, by itself. Nani ka o oboite so her body by itself simply remembers how to do something. And then you can see the n at the end, as you often see, as kind of giving an explanation because people don't know what the heck she's talking about. I don't. But her body does. Let's keep going. Hmm, so this must be 
a power of the Master Blade given from Tolsama, my father. But notice the kanji. It's the kanji for God. Her father is God. Father gave her this power. So we must hurry. So dakara means so, and then dakara koso. So it even strengthens it even more. So now we, we must go. DJ Lethal has summoned a dragon with Twitch Prime. He does man. I was thinking about making a Twitch Prime command for like Exclamation Prime, but I realized I didn't even know what the proper URL would, would be for the command. So maybe I'll figure that out sometime. But anyway, Twitch Prime has summoned us a dragon. Arigato, DJ Lethal. Thank you very much. Let's go. The hype is here for Japanese language today. Let's continue. Homuro. Mm, that's a cool sentence too. Hono instinct. And then teki can make it like instinctual. You see that teki a lot with nouns to make them into kind of an adjective. So uh instinctually I just know these powers. So they were Metsumo Onaji. But the problem is the villain, Metsu, wants to kill God, kill people, and kill the world. Kill everything, basically. He also has these powers, so that's a problem. Metsu mo, mo also, onaji. DJ Lito says, thank you for Japanese quest. Kochita koso, kochita koso, isho ni gamboro. Thank you. Let's go. Metsu mo onaji no hazu. So Metz as well. Hmm, it seems like an elevator. Uh, so it's all glass. He's saying, ah, oh, you're scared of high places, aren't you? Let's go. You can say that for Japanese Quest as well. Real quick, I want to show people, I suggest people get this new game, if you're into it. Just came out today, Final Fantasy VII. I, I'm not sure if you need to get it in Japan to get the Japanese. You probably do, though. So I got the Japanese one, of course. We will be playing this possibly next. Just came out. I may play it next. I was thinking of playing this next because I just got this, too, for... Uh, Ace Attorney, Captain Saiban, but now I'm leaning a bit more toward Final Fantasy. We'll play both of them probably at one time, because they're both awesome, but uh, we may do this one first. It's so new. It's the first time ever, though, on Nintendo. I played it, of course, on PlayStation, Japanese and English, but uh, first time on Nintendo, which is pretty cool. Shin no Nozomi. So this is, the title of this chapter is Shin's Hope. Yeah, part of it, I feel like playing an old school game on this stream would be cool. We haven't played that many old school games. But I would like to. We did play one PlayStation game, though, uh, Harry Potter. In Japanese, that was a trip. Madakutaba. Uh, is that true, Rusktip? I did not know that. So he's saying, is it still early? Yeah, it's still early for you to, to die, he's saying, because Shin has some problems with his body. Mr. Polka Dude said, I'd be interested in FF7, never played. Cool. We will check it out. I wish it would had voiced scenes, which it doesn't. Maybe the new one will. I'm sure it will, but... Uh, yeah, I've certainly considered it. I've considered everything... That is kind of obvious for this kind of stream. But uh, recently, though, I don't think we'll play one unless possibly the new Pokemon game that comes out for this, for Switch. That could be a possibility. Other than that, we probably won't play one. 
but I'll consider playing that one if it gets good reviews and stuff. So we've come this far. I don't plan to die now. Sorry if uh, Yuri Kumu did not sink. And by the way, I don't know what the heck Yuri Kumu is. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we could have, you know, done a better medical procedure on you. This ship, maybe he's talking about? He said, don't worry about it. So his problem is that his heart. I believe his heart is human, but his body is a blade, so it's kind of unstable, and he may die. Because he's talking about his his cells. Ningen no saibo. Human cells. Ningen, human, saibo, cells, and they're kind of uh, absorbed into his body. In other words, he's not a human, but he has a human heart. It's like if someone in chat had like a human body, but like, I don't know, the heart of a boar might be weird. But actually that kind of works, doesn't it? Pig's hearts do work, but maybe it could present challenges. I don't know. So like you can bring out new abilities with this uh, hybrid body he has. So I'm satisfied with that manzoku to be satisfied. It's okay. Like this. Konomoma. Like this. Um, if you know that song, the main song from Frozen, they use that phrase. Harinomama, the way things are. Don't worry, I won't play it. I played a lot of my Japanese class back in the day, though. All right, so even if your body is rejecting this human heart, you still want it? I know this isn't what you want. But even still, so even still, I want to carry out my promise. Yakusoku. Promise. And then hatasu. To complete or to carry out. And then tai shows he wants to do that verb. So I want to carry out that promise. Yakusoku wo hatashitai. Hatashitai. Soga. Ha! We got another dragon. The power of Twitch Prime. Again. Idesne. I also have Twitch Prime. I just subbed to uh, someone today with it. Sweet. Uh, let's get that dragon hype in the chat. Arigato. The hype is real for Japanese education on the internet, on Twitch. Let's go. I'll do the same. I think Metsu just said he'd also summon a dragon. I might be confused, but I think that's what he said. So Shin, you're not kind of trapped by your connection to her, are you? So I found the body of, uh, yeah, this old Titan nun when we were in Ida with earlier. Oh, what? Right, so it, uh, yeah, there were these blades that had become, started to become Titans but had Kuchita. They had decayed. And yeah, this Titan 
had kind of all of them or was embracing them. So are you saying even after it sunk? Shizunda ato. Ato means after. So even after it sunk. Shibaraku wa. So that means for a little while. So for a little while, they were still living? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. So to. Hito to. Tomoni. So together with humans is what some man said. But in actuality, notice how we just change it. The last one said tomo, means together. This one says tame, which means for. So in actuality, daga jisai wa, jisai meaning in actuality. So in reality, we are here, us blades are here for humans, not with humans. There's a difference. We're like slaves, essentially. That is the truth decided by God. That's why he wants to kill God, by the way, and humans. Um, so kami, God. Sadamaru, to decide, and then shinjitsu, the truth. So the truth decided by God for us blades. I can kind of see where he's coming from. But on the other hand, this dude's almost like immortal. I might kind of be cool with that, personally. Shinjitsu. その結果があれだ。So that's the result. Especially for example, like imagine if you were like a blade, right? You live like a full life, then you go back to be a crystal. You live another full life, back to a crystal. Possibly forever, so like thousands of years, right? Each time losing your memory, okay? Would you take that over our current human predicament? That's my question. Uh, keep in mind that with modern technology, you could have access to all your old Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, whatever. You could see a record of yourself pretty easily. So even if you lose your memory, you could hold, you could record your most cherished memories or your most important ideas, since your personality would be more or less the same, at least it seems to be with the blades here. That could be a way to carry on. I feel like that would be, I'd be okay with that. Kind of a philosophical question, but I feel like the blade life might not be as bad as they're saying. Because they say they're slaves, but these guys aren't slaves to anyone. They're just basically wanderers in a giant spaceship. That's kind of cool. So your hope, is it really okay to make it come true? Okay, so that is like a punishment so greg says true but they had to go through some crazy stuff to get to that point true and he's not a normal blade he's kind of like the most powerful blade so most blades really are kind of just slaves for maybe 20 or 30 or 40 years and then they lose their memory so yeah i, I suppose but if you're like him and you just like grab someone's heart out of their body then you can live 500 years that's kind of cool if it's consensual heart grabbing out of their body. So having this foolish hope. So 
So I think his hope is to still find a way for her to keep living. Because is, she is living in his heart, in a sense. Tsugi, who check it out, where we're going. Sekaiju no nakae. So naka means inside, so we are now finally going inside, I guess further up this world tree. Again, sekai, world, ju, tree, in this kanji. Normally ki, well, normally tree is ki, but in this kanji, sekaiju, world tree, let's go inside. Okamijin, I missed what you were saying at the very end there, but, uh, right, if you believe in general reincarnation, true, that could be similar. Ah, konnichiwa, burb -san. Welcome, today our focus is finding sentences, because we have this new emote um, to find sentences, so we can use that emote to suggest sentences today. I just spammed it in chat so everyone knows what I'm talking about. That was quick. So that had no words in it other than the title of the scene itself. So into the world tree. I guess it just showed us the world tree. Whoa. So things are getting weird here. I think we're going deep into the past because this looks like uh, Marubeni, which is like this Pope dude who we're just finding out might be evil. But now we're seeing his true nature. Marubeni no shimi. His true nature is doing something with a big rock. Probably nothing good. Ah, yatta. You saw the Discord. Very cool. I'll check it out later. Let's go. Yeah, let's find a good one. Basically, a good way to use it. If I'm spending too long on a sentence and talking about it a lot anyway. That's probably a good time to use it. <laughs> and then if someone can write it, we can add that sentence. So what are you worrying about? Break it down a little bit. Because we like hearing from Tor after all. Our first emote is inspired by him. So nani, what, and then nayamu, to worry. So nani, nayanderimo. So what are you worrying about? Remember to mo is just for no pun, you can cross that out. You normally would use like no instead of mo. It's his weird dialect, he uses mo. <laughs> oh, funny. Um, so could it be you dropped your wallet? <laughs> the fact that we're in a world tree that is completely mechanized and he's thinking about him dropping his wallet. I don't know. It's kind of a... It strikes me as a good line. Um, saifu, wallet, otosu, to drop. And then... Otoshichatta. So, like, to unfortunately have dropped. Did you drop your... Wallet? I did not drop it. Well, I understood. So are you then worrying because there's nothing inside your wallet? You have no money? Uh, this is one of Rex's maybe best moments in the game. Because I feel like usually he doesn't have much of a sense of humor. This time, though, he very much does. He's going along with the joke line. He's saying, that's right. In this place, inside this world tree, I have no job. I'm completely unemployed. This whole time he's been playing this game, saving the world, he has not been working, so he's completely broke. Shigoto means job, and then shigoto shite nai, because I'm not working. And then kara means because. Uh, 
なんで俺の財布の中身の話に。So you can see how he shifted gears here into saying WTF. So, why are you talking about the contents of my wallet? We're in the world tree. Really? We've talked about it, because that's like my other favorite joke in this game, too. Was actually Gramps making a joke about not having a wallet, because he was like a giant titan at that time. So, yeah, let's, let's power up. Good call. Thanks for looking it up. Let's go to our power level. So, I would normally look it up maybe, but、uh, I'm gonna believe you because, well, you've looked up a lot of stuff, and this seems like a word that could have slipped through the cracks, even though we have talked about it a lot. So, I think there's a good chance we don't have it actually. And since you searched it, I'm gonna say the chance is 99.9%. All right, so, Saifu, wallet. Saifu. Nice. We got a wallet. Let's、uh, add that to our power level. We now have a wallet. We gain the power of wallets. Saifu. Nicely done. So, power level is now going up. Let's make that go up. Nope, it went up too high. There we go. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Yup, the power level has gone up. Yeah, anyone else who wants to search, we can make our power level go up to date too. Let's find sentences and words. So, why in the world are we talking about the contents of my wallet in the world tree? Our goal the whole game. So, from before, you've been a bit dark. Mm, yeah, it's about Marubeni, this kind of evil Pope type character. So, if what Shin said is true, so Nara means if all of this is true, so Honto Nara, so if that is true, Ano Hito wa Blade o dake janaku. So, that means he's not just a blade. He might also be a human. All right, no.、Um, I kind of read the flow of that incorrectly. So, so, not just blades. He doesn't just hate blades. He might also hate humans and the world. So, Sekai Mo also. So basically, we're finding out that Marubeni, this guy, may be the villain of this game, the true villain. Which is not a surprise. Because he looks like a villain. Okay, the old empire, Ida, lived alongside blades, humans and blades. So, to destroy that is to destroy Titans as well. Because we learned Blades and Titans are kind of the same. Blades become Titans later on. So, Marubeni should know as well that the number of Titans is. Falling. Kazu means number. That could be a word we don't have. We may have it, might not have it, not sure.、Um, Kazu means number. And、uh, he should know that the number of Titans is falling. <laughs> so if the Titans go away, then we will die too. We do have it. Thanks, Commodore, for looking it up. So, yeah, they may have thought that they were getting in the way of their power. Exerting their power. So, yeah, interesting. So, if blades become the very land that we live on, become these titans, that could lead to more blade. 
Faith in blades. Shinko means faith. Shinko ni tsunagaru. So connected to this faith. And so they're severing this tie. If there are, if people don't find out that blades are important, become titans, become the land we live on. If they kill them all first, control them all. Well, they can control everything, can't they? Or almost everything. So if there was a new sect or a new religion that could become a threat to the holy capital. So if it's just that, I understand. It's just kind of a dispute between countries. Arasoi means like a dispute or a fight. And then kuni to kuni means between countries. A fight between countries. Kuni to kuni no arasoi ってやつだからね Hmm, so understand that. だけど But Rex? 人を憎んで自分を憎んでやがてはせ So I think he's remembering something that someone has said. I'm not totally sure who said it. So if you hate people, you hate yourself. Jibun, yourself. Hito, people. Eventually, yagate, eventually, you'll hate the whole world. Sekai o niku. Kind of a nice sentence. Kind of sentence that could be kind of fun to write with our new emote. And think about, are there any words there we don't have? There could be a couple we don't have. For example, nikumu we may not have. Yagatte we may not have. And yeah, Bird put it up. If someone's able to write it, we can add this to our power level. I think it's a good sentence. So let's break down the words here. Hito o nikunde. So nikumu. Means to detest or to hate. So to hate humans, to hate yourself. Jibun no nikunde. Yagatte, so eventually. Yagatte wa sekai o nikumu. Eventually, you will hate the world. Kind of a strange, dramatic sentence about what happens to villains in JRPGs. You kind of start with one thing and then. Hate kind of expands. Uh, we don't. I thought that we might not. Thank you, Commodore Bucket, for looking it up. And yeah, I don't think we probably have that either. Nikui means like hateful, the adjective form of it. So it can be nikumu as a verb. Nikui, a bit more rare. It's an adjective form. So let's add the verb form for today. So yeah, if anyone's able, if anyone's able to write that sentence, we can add that to our power level. But let's quick also add the word nikumu. Looks like verb has it. Unboxes has it. Hito nikunde, jibun o nikunde, yagatte wa sekai o nikumu. Yeah, notice for these two. Nikunde, you have the te form, nikunde, nikunde, and finally you have the plain form, nikumu. You'll often notice a kind of parallel structure in Japanese sentences. Well, you'll, you'll see the th the same verb or something three times to kind of build up this tension coming to the end. Hito nikunde, jibun o nikunde, yagatte wa sekai o nikumu. So you detest humans, you hate. Yourself eventually, you hate the world, and then <laughs> this is the part I'm adding. Like Shin, you want to then destroy the world, destroy all humans, and kill God, more or less. Let's uh, copy and paste that sentence and add that to our power level. Um, first, though, why don't we add the word since I have Rikai on? Let's go to Nikumu. I wrote a lot of lines there. Okay, here we go. 
ニクム。エンツーワードとヘイト。ニクム。ニクム。ワオ。ニクム。ニクム。ニクム。ニクム。Yeah, that was a bit different sounding than I was expecting. ニクム。It sounds so kind of、uh, <laughs> happy for the word to hate. Not a word I use that much, I'll be honest. Don't talk about hate all that much. Here we go. Nikumu.、Uh, cool. So we've added that word. Power level is now up to. 1123. Let's make that go up. Okay. And、uh, this does remind me of one thing. There is a tool that I was looking at. People were asking about pitch accent. And G Show, they're considering、um, adding a tool for pitch accent. They don't have one now. But I did find one plugin, I think.、Um, that may work for it. I might have to look at it another time. But often, if you're interested about these types of things, You can find something. Yeah, there's a Google Chrome extension that maybe for fun we could add to our Chrome for now. Let's see if we can add that. All right. So we've got that new extension. Let's see if it works. If we refresh this, let's see if it has any data for that. Okay, notice. So now it has the pitch accent information. Now, this is actually different than even it was showing my other laptop. That's kind of cool. So let's turn off Rekai for a second and see what kind of information they have here. Nice. So it shows the different forms as well. You can see so the, the higher pitch is on the second syllable and then it goes down, like you can hear with the voice as well. Nikumu. 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 Could be a useful tool. Eventually, they may add this functionality to G Show. I think the problem is the data. They're not, they're not sure if there's any that is available for them to use freely.、Um, but there are workarounds if you Google things like this. I'm not sure if we'll always use this, but、uh, it came to mind with this word, and we've talked about it before. And so, one cool thing you can do just to get a consciousness of pitch accent is、uh, you know, look at new words,、um, play the audio,、Nikumu. and then match that with the pitch accent information, and then get a sense of how different it works, works with different words. All right, let's go back to the game. What was this extension called again? Yeah, I actually have no idea. And, I wasn't able, even able to find it before when I was looking for the extension's name. So I just Googled、um, G Show and then、uh, Pitch Accent, and the first thread on it had a link to the extension. So sorry, I don't know the name of the extension. I don't think the name will even help you. It's called, yeah. I'm seeing, I'm looking at the name of the extension here. It says, G show slash OJAD in all caps. But I looked that up before I couldn't find it, so I don't know if you'll find it. Okay, good, you found it. Cool. Thanks for the comment. People will know that. So, yeah, good thing to be aware of.、Um, after talking about it a few times in chat, I decided to look it up off stream because I thought it could be useful extra information.、Um, it doesn't always have all the information for every word, but for the more common words, it has it. It's certainly useful. Thing、to look at. Cool. And、uh, I think we're still looking at the sentence too, right? Let's、uh, copy and paste these sentences that Burb wrote and Unboxes wrote. 
So let's copy and paste that into our sentence chronicle today. Get a lot of new good sentences today. And then the time we'll note as well. Sweet. Let's go back to the game. Wait a minute. We must unlock the sentence, though, we just learned. Again, the sentence of uh, kind of layers of hate and how hate can build. Moikai. Now, the last sentence we saw is unlocked in our minds. You can see it here. Hito ni kunde, jibuno ni kunde, yagate wa sekai o nikumu. Ine. Um, cool. Sekai o nikunda ato wa. So you'll notice, like, when you heard Rex say the line, when you're in a sentence, often the, the up pitch will not be as pronounced as we heard it on that person doing the, the word in context. Often things can flatten out more in the full sentence. So why do they hate the world? Or what will he do? So that world, it's fine to have it disappear. So basically he's hypothesizing that this uh, Pope type guy, Marubeni, who's a villain in the game, is the villain of the game. He's right. Some cool words here. If you want to sound smart in Japanese, learn this phrase. Lonni no hiyaku. A leap of logic. Hiyaku means like a leap or a jump. And lonely means uh, logic. I have a nice mnemonic for this one. It kind of sounds like lonely. It's pronounced lonely, like the way a Japanese person might pronounce lonely to be by yourself. So imagine, if you like Star Trek anyway, it will help you. Spock, the most logical guy ever, uses only logic, not emotions. Um, Imagine Spock very, very lonely, all by himself, lonely with his logic. The word is lonely. The reason it's tricky for some people is uh, if you have, if you switch those kanji around and have rilon, it means theory, also a very useful word. So rilon and lonely. Some people mix those up. So I think you could have a mnemonic for one of them, might help. Lonely. Imagine Spock, who's always logical, by the way, being lonely, logical Vulcan. So, leap of logic. Lonely no hiyoku. So, I want to say that's a leap of logic, but but the truth is, there's a lot of those people in the world. Jujitsu, so you are I said it before. Right. So when I talked to Marubeni, it was almost as like, almost as if I was speaking to Metsu. I said that before. If anyone was here at that time, you remembered like their body like switched faces. It was very weird. Hmm, you did say that. That has bothered me. So, yeah, that's bothered me. What if his goal, Marubeni's goal, is the same as Metsu? Cool. That is the hope. That, uh, as well as maybe learning a thing here and there, that, uh, this could be a place to help motivate each other in chat to study Japanese, a source of fun, a source of motivation, and uh, reminding people you can play games in Japanese too, 
And that can be a motivation as well. Even if you don't understand it, hardly anything at first, I still had fun with it. Playing Final Fantasy X in Japanese, even when I only understood like, I don't know, 25% of it, I still enjoyed after playing the game in English first, of course. I recommend doing it that way for your first game. I called it. <laughs> I called it. So yeah, um, that's his mom. Muddy. Nani. So I guess she called him Muddy, not Marubeni. This is the guy who is like the Pope guy now. This villain we're learning about. So Nani, what? こんな世界にあなた一人を残すなんて。so leaving you alone in this world. I'm a bad mother, aren't I? Warui, bad, kasan, mother, and then dane. So ne is kind of looking for agreement. So I'm a bad mother, aren't I? Leaving you alone in this world. Kanashi ne. But Mom Sorry Jeez Please push him in a safer way. I don't know. Where'd they go? Stop! Don't come here! There! She's ran that way. Nigger to run away and then Nigeta. So past form. So she ran away. She ran that way. And then Zo makes it a kind of more powerful statement. She ran that way. <laughs> Origin story of a villain. So some parenting advice, I guess. Uh, don't do that to your kid or they may try to destroy all humans, the world, and God at some point. So yeah, don't push them off a ledge onto a tree. Good parenting advice. Although possibly it was her only option at this point. So maybe, I don't know. Life is not always so simple. Especially in JRPGs. Nani? Wow. 
So are we to believe he killed three guys with a rock when they were sleeping? Soldiers? It's pretty intense. Or just maybe the one guy? He's just having a flashback to his skull bashing younger years. So we're almost through the cloud sea. Nani? Nani? What is it? From below. When did he turn blue? That's the uh good question as well. I don't know. Could it be like a one ring scenario? Like turning into Gollum? Once he got the Aegis, I don't know. Was he always blue? I don't know. Some giant shadow. This is a cool word. Kage. Shadow. What kind of shadow? Kyoda na kage. A giant shadow. Inside the cloud sea. It's on now. Clash of the Titans. So their whole Titan now is on the attack, I guess. At least one Titan. Could it be? Oh, what in the world? Ooh, and they got lasers. Abune. So without any advanced warning. So raise the uh, the armor. I will analyze the enemy's attack power. So Senryoku is like attack power. Bunseki is analysis so he will analyze their attack power and then whose attack power teki the enemy teki no senryoku bunseki yo so he will do that as she puts up the defenses so i'm doing it just counter attack already so yeah, more than using your head, just move your hands. So yori, like rather than. So atama means head. So rather than your head, use your hands. Te. And then the verb here is to move. Ugokasu. So rather than moving your head, move your hands. So shut up and do something. <laughs> So where did Sata go in a time like this? So if it's Sata, he must be below. So I've done a bypass of the cannon. Take a look, take a look you shitty priest. So can you release them? That was a good face you paused on? Oh no, did I miss it? I was trying to pause before on uh, Marubeni. He's like, I was going to comment on his weird thing he's wearing. I missed the face you're talking about because Marubeni has all these weird little triangles hanging off his coat that I was going to make fun of. But 
Too bad. That time has passed. And I missed the face. It's them. Anytime. So they have this kind of a fleet they've been working on this factory, these uh, man made blades. So as planned, we have reached the kind of the border. I can let you down there, you and uh, Metsu. So above that level there, we can't go higher than that. The ship can't go higher than that. Mm. That's good. So notice the way he's saying this. His words are kind of pregnant with the moment. You get a sense they may not be meeting again. So is it really okay leaving things like this? Satoshiko. Rao, rao. Satoiko, I leave Laura to you. Tano. Stuck in this weird ice, iceberg. By the way, what is this weird iceberg anyway? We saw her die. There was no ice nearby. What is this technology? Kore wa nan desu ka? Alright, so release the blade bots. Yeah, you're right, Unboxes. He does have ice powers, I forgot. Good call. Time for a counterattack. You were faster than we expected. Hayakatta. Faster than we thought. So they must have given up on the kid. And yeah, they probably did give up on us because we failed to defeat Shin earlier. It's very much like him, that says. Bless you. Okay, the, the hatch has been opened. You can you can leave any time. Yosh. Does it? Let's go. Release them. Okay. So if this ever is adapted into a Star Wars type movie, that's kind of like the the big battle between tie fighters and uh X-wings. Hito to Let's see, how many do we have left in this chapter? Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, go. Let's do one more today. Hito to buredo. Then hopefully next time we can finish this chapter. Ah, it's Galaxy. Konbanwa. Good to see you. We are looking for sentences and words today, but our new emote especially, we are looking for sentences today. So what in the world is happening with inside this tower being like this? So it's not a tree, a natural tree, it's a human-made tower. So shizen, very good word, means nature. So it's not a key from nature, it is jinko no to, to tower, jinko man-made, or woman-made, person-made. I guess here we see a person. To. Morse no chi to onaji bunmei no mono no yo desu ne. 
Seems like the same civilization as Morusu where we were before. So the world where God was born. That's what Shin called it. Wait, so this is a tower made by God? Is God really the top of this tower? Is Rakuen, paradise, really up there? Wasn't that like a thousand or two thousand years ago? Might be even before. Yeah, things don't live that long. So yeah, Homura and Hikari said they also did not meet God. But this tower is really here. If that's true. So she's saying now, yeah, hearing about it a hundred times, one look is more than all of that. Ah! Rabbit Fire, Konnichiwa. Good to see you. Welcome. We are now at the World Tree. So yeah, it's true. No matter how much we imagine, nothing will be settled. Sozo to imagine. So we have to actually see it. So let's go up the tower. So what do you think, Nia? Is your stomach growling? Ah, uh, Jester, yeah, because you said that, partly. I was thinking of ending stream after the last scene, but we're going a bit farther. Possibly because subconsciously what you said pushed us to go a little bit longer. So welcome back, good to see you. How was your job? Because you said you were at work before, right? Uh, yeah, that's right, Burb. He can one look. Yeah, Iken kind of just means a look. Don't usually see it with more than one. Uh, it's Kalisi. I would say for sure. Even if you don't know any Japanese exposure to Japanese speakers, if you want to learn Japanese, is great. So I'd say for sure speak Japanese if you have an opportunity to. But on the other hand, yeah, you don't need to speak. You can you can wait to speak too. But being exposed to speakers, even if you're not speaking yourself, is certainly a good thing. So yeah, why are you always thinking about dropping wallets and people being hungry in this place we're in now? You have nothing else to ask? So I couldn't think of you being serious about anything other than food, so I guess she had a like, serious look on her face. I will beat you up. Then why? Hmm, well... It's hard to say, but let's, I'll give it a try. I want to ask this to everyone, all of you who are Blades. So honestly, so interesting. This is kind of touching on the conversation we had earlier. She's talking about what it means to be a blade. So we have some blades here. They live with their driver, connected to their driver. Let's, I'll draw the connections. So that they're connected here. And she's asking, would they want to live more? I guess even if 
their driver died. It's Galaxy. Is it, is it live or a loop? Oh, it's a loop. It's almost always a loop, it's Galaxy, so better than that being a loop. The kitty, though, I see here close by, so the kitty is here. I don't know. Looks like eating something, being naughty in the kitchen. So, yeah, just for an update, that is what's going on. Um, I'll give you a quick camera view really quick. Uh, so this is the kitty live in the kitchen eating something. That's the kitchen. That's the kitty's water right there. Griffin-san, konnichiwa. Live desu yo. Ah. Ochita. So he uh, jumped down. So let's bring it back to the loop. So we always have a kitty. Because that's what the kitty wants. Um, it is a win-win to have it a loop. Because the kitty reacts the same whether it's live or not. So she's saying, would you want to live longer? Do you mean not going back to our core? That's right. It's a difficult question. So Fluffy has joined us. Yokoso. Japanese Quest Toy. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Uh, so Mukashi no Jibun. So the me from a long time ago. I would like to know about them. But if my driver died. Yeah, the problem is the kitty would get into weird stuff and that wouldn't work so well. A mounted kitty cam. There's a problem with the mounted kitty cam idea. It would start filming stuff. I wouldn't necessarily want it to film at times. The kitty, I do not trust the kitty with really anything. So sorry to talk about after you die. And she's saying, don't worry about it. Yeah, come on. I wouldn't really want to exist after she died. Yeah, exactly, it's Kelsey. That's the problem. Um, even if there aren't bodies in the basement, they might film something that doesn't want to be filmed. Um, <laughs> yeah, me too. I just want to keep my memories for when I'm with the prince. <laughs> so, that makes me happy what you said. Thank you. Thank you. So, Byako, what about you? So, if I can be with you until the end, with that, I'm satisfied. So, with that, Manzokres. I am satisfied. So I am satisfied. So I'm not real. In other words, she's an android. Thinking about the future is lonely. So if Master died, I would become a widow. That's her way of putting it there. Mi bojin, widow. So I think it's a bit different. You wouldn't be a widow, but I, I get where you're coming from. What about you, Homura? Homura so she's different from the rest of you. She's lived hundreds of years. For a long time. I'm not asking you. So seriously, what do you think, Homura? Homura, honestly, what do you think? What do you 
So I've thought, why do I keep existing forever? Maybe I just have to keep living? But, but now it's a bit different. I'm glad I've kept living. So saying goodbye is sad, but even that becomes a part of me. So, wakare, parting. So even if other people are dying or saying goodbye through her hundreds of years. And this is really how I feel about why I'd like to live ideally thousands of years, even if people die. There are still good things. There are still good video games on the horizon. I want to see the video games, say, 10,000 years from now, ideally. Um, so, they mo so that as well becomes a part of me. So I have a similar philosophy. I wouldn't mind being a blade living in thousands of years. But... Eventually, but if I could one day go to sleep with with an important person, that would be true happiness. So an important person, maybe someone she loves, so to go to sleep to die with someone she cares about that might be true happiness she's saying so I guess she's saying she can see it both ways in a sense ah sumo-san genki By the way, I don't think I've said that really today. How is everyone doing? Minna, Genki. So that's what I think. It's very like you. Thank you. I, I now understand very well what all of you think. Ah, yokatta watashi mo. Genki. So why did you ask that? So I'm a man-eater. Means like half blade, half human. Truthfully, I have no idea how long I will live. Her body, body's kind of unstable like Shin. So possibly I'll just die suddenly tomorrow. My lady. But this, I can say. Drivers have nothing to do with my death. Yeah, Rapid Fire, thanks for writing that. Pokuri, suddenly. Not a word we've seen mo much. And then someone said, Ohio. So yeah, it's late where I am too. So uh, clearly we've got some different time zones going, which is cool. Shin. So I always wondered about it. Blackbird Reynolds has summoned the dragon. Cool username too. What is that? Got some more dragon hype in the chat. Twitch is leveling up in its Japanese power level today, just as we are leveling up with learning new words today. You can see our power level is 1,121, 23. And uh, someday, who knows, perhaps our dragons will be above that. Right now, our dragons are probably around 23 subscribers. Let's go. 
So Shin is he was gathering core crystals. So why doesn't he use them? He hates humans, right? And the comment, Blackbird Reynolds. Yokoso. Japanese quest away. Welcome to Japanese quest. You now have the two function emotes that are new. Let me just quick spam them. The Triforce for new sentences and power up for new words. Our goal is to find both today and going forward. All right, so if you become a man eater, you can become part human. And I kind of missed part of that sentence. Let's keep going. Right. He could get a lot more military might with all those blades he's stealing. Why doesn't he use them? So is that it? Nub's move has also summoned a dragon. Yes, man. Gambari Masho. And I agree. Gambari means to persist, to insist on, to stand firm, to try one's best. That is what we will do in Japanese, in English, and on Twitch. Ishoni Gambari. The hype, the dragon hype today is real. Let's go. Right, so that group, they are just five people. Gonin, five people, and then Dake, just. So Gonin Dake. A small organization. Soshiki means organization. So Shin was always against it when they were. Uh, Resonating with blades. So it seems like Shin did not want to use any blades. At all. So it could be that his thoughts were the same as ours. Maybe that he, like them, doesn't want to live beyond... The girl who was his driver. Which probably is true because she's in that giant icicle. So he thinks the same as us. So that's why Shin will not resonate with anyone. She's right about that. So kind of like all of them, he's too kind of connected to his driver. He will not resonate with anyone else. So we have four scenes left in this chapter, chapter eight. We're getting near the end. And by the way, I will most likely be streaming a little bit more often to hopefully finish this game in the next couple weeks. I know I've said that for a while, but now I'm kind of for real and I'll probably have a bit more time to do that. So we'll most likely be streaming earlier at some time in the next month or so coming up. So we will leave it there today. We will say ja. Matane kyo wa tanoshikatta ne. Power level went up today. Not that much because our focus was more sentences today. We got some new good sentences. We got some words too. Next time, let's get up to power level 9,000. Only takes like what, 8,000 words in the stream? We can do that. Ja, matane. Let's uh, host someone. Who shall we host today? Again, thank you today for all the new followers, all the new subscriptions. I see some subs just recently from Nubs Moo, Blackbird Reynolds, Crymo. There were others too. So, all the dragons. Thank you, anyone watching on YouTube. You can join us live if you want to uh, summon some of these emotes we have and summon a dragon live on stream. Uh, if you want to hype up, Japanese education on Twitch and YouTube. That is one way you can do that. So welcome everyone. Thanks for the support today. And uh, who shall we host today? That is the question. Someone... Hmm. I see some relaxing stream. I think it's a Japanese 
streamer. Let's host them. I'm not sure if I've hosted this person recently. I think I've probably hosted them before. So let's try hosting someone new. You can go over there and say hello and give a shout out from Japanese Quest. And uh, Ouija has also summoned a dragon. Ja, matane. I think it's the first dragon we've had that's flown in just to say ja. See you later, ja, matane. I imagine a dragon now. I'm closing my eyes, the dragon is swooping down, saying, Matane, the dragon flies off, but the dragon will be back. And uh, let's host Seitan Pyo, I think her name is. Japanese girl, streamer. Check her out. I think she, I feel like she dances sometimes on her stream, but I think today she's maybe talking to people. So maybe you can talk to her in Japanese. Ja, Matane! See you next time.